Okay, welcome back to the channel. I'm out here today at the little sawmill site. Um, if you guys seen my last video, it was probably the test run, the very first time I've ever used that little $20 uh, jig uh, to saw any lumber myself. Um, that was a gift from my brother. Um, I, got, I got quite a few comments saying that I needed to get a real sawmill. Well, I don't need a real sawmill. I have one um, 10 foot log that I want to mill right now just to make a picnic table um, when the time comes where I, when I do need a sawmill I'll go get one. Uh, that's not a, that's not an issue at all I think a lot of you guys misinterpreted that video yesterday. I was just out here trying to test out this uh, little uh, Chainsaw mill that my brother got me for my birthday eight months ago And a lot of people thought I had intentions of milling all my own lumber for the house with that no no that's not it at all that's that's way too much work that too much work that i wanted to put into it uh now we will end up eventually getting a sawmill um, but i don't even have any trees down that i need to cut so um, we have to we have to stockpile a bunch of trees and all that stuff but today um i'm going to show you guys i'm actually going to i'm going to attempt to cut some more boards out of here uh, you probably see me putting a brand new tra uh, chain on there i didn't want to mess with sharpen that one i just want to replace the whole thing start from new and get this set up right um yester yesterday's video was like a test run um to see if i could do it and it's very possible to do it um i just didn't my uh my uh, my chain went dull i mean the very first cut slipped off and hit that and it just and i just went with it. i wanted to make the video and um, I already started filming all that, so I just went with it. I ended up cutting it. Didn't look the greatest, but that could actually sit for the bench where we could sit down on and um, stuff like that. So uh, today I'm going to show you setting this back up. I already got the board off there. I'm going to set it up and uh, I'm going to move it over uh, about probably three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to try to get a three quarter inch uh, piece out of this. And uh, we'll go from there. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you do, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. We'll be doing a lot of cool stuff like this. And uh, trust me, I'm not going to use the chainsaw to mill my own house could it be done absolutely there's i've been seeing people on the internet do it a lot but i'm not going to do that i'll get a real uh a real uh, a sawmill as far as say the easy easy way to do it so we'll go from there hey my wife and uh my wife and kids actually just showed up um so i actually got a surprise for you I'll, i'm gonna give them a task to do and uh we'll, we'll film it for you guys in, in the middle of me doing this um, i bought them another hammock to put up so we'll see if brandy the girls can put that up the boss has arrived the bosses. Hello. I got four bosses. What's up, girls? What's up? What's up, ladies? Look what Hope wanted to wear. What's she wear? <laughs> I'm getting in the hammock. You're gonna get the hammock. Well, here's the thing. I, I bought another hammock, girls. Hey, just slow down. Hey, stop. I want you guys to put the hammock up. Well, you oh, got long legs. I, I just bought a different one, Where a bigger one. Where is it? It's right there next to mom. Did you spray down at all? Yeah. You better go spray down a little bit. Put a little bug spray on. Oh, guys. Okay, I'm gonna get this all set up and ready to go. And uh, when I get the hammock out and they're ready to put it up, I'll show you uh, show them putting it up. But let's put this uh, this little board on here. So I marked this earlier. And we we're sitting at three quarters of an inch from the edge. I want to do an inch and a half. That'll put me right where I need to be. Let's see if I can't line that up. That's right at about right at a half inch and a half right where I want it. So we'll go down here and do it to the other side too. Okay, we're going to do a few things different on here. I'm going to start from that end and uh, some of you guys suggested put the motor over it and come back this way. So I'll try that um, and we'll just go from there.
Okay, it's amazing uh, what a brand new blade will do, a sharp blade. That took all of five minutes to cut through there. And uh, you can see where I started and stopped, and um, there'll be little indentions, and that's because I made some adjustments to make sure that thing wasn't coming loose. Um, I didn't want to mess up like I did last time. But when you got this thing set up right, five minutes. It's still a lot of work. I'm sweating like crazy, but man, it's, it looks really good. We're going to be able to use this for a table, no doubt about it. See a table? Yeah. See, look at that. That's 100% better than yesterday. And this is where I stopped. And the things I read, I said, if you stop, you'll make them indentions and stuff like that. And I had a little bit of a problem right here cutting through the board. I didn't get all the way through, but not bad for my second cut. What? You can see how smooth it is all the way up until where I stopped. I like this. Is that pretty cool? Yeah. I really want to tie it on. Hey, and get my knife. You got my knife. You got my knife. How many you say? Four. And does it go through this then? Through that loop. Hope to get my phone. I don't know how tight that feels. That's probably good. You gotta be careful you don't hit the other one too, so that's probably good. Raise it up, Randy. There you go. Give me the end of that rope. The back. There you go, that'll probably work. Let me just jump up here. Pretty much. I need to do that. Let's go back. Why well, not with that rope to hit you guys? <laughs> that's, gonna, that's low. That's going to let go and like hit No, it ain't. My turn. We need straps though. I'll get some straps. The rope's just stretching too much. That's My funny. Turn. Is it comfortable? Yeah, is my butt dragging the ground? No, it's about three inches from it. Can I turn? All some right. of these um, little plants smell funny. That rope I got is just, is just stretching, so it's not doing it right. That's funny. All right, Hope wants to try it. Or just roll out, Randy. Oh, hold on, I'm going that way. Just roll out. Hold on, hold on, let go, let go. I've never used one of these little rope ones. I don't, I'm not a real big fan of it right now. It's comfortable. <laughs> we could probably set it up on the other one, but it'd probably be good right there for Hope and it even sinks Should on the end. Even... That's funny. <laughs> Whoop, don't fall. Yeah, get in the middle. She literally weighs 50 pounds. What the? <laughs> Are they comfortable though? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, we'll have to get, I'll get some straps. Straps That's won't stretch. Funny. Can you tell the difference in this side? See how rough that is with that doll? Look at this one. Way better. Look, look at all the marks on yeah. it. That's yesterday with the doll blade. This Let is the smoother one. Oh. A little better, isn't it? Whoa, Grab it and yeah. set it over there. Is this a new blade? Yeah. Is that going to be the seat? Don't drop it hard because it'll break. Just set it now. Carefully, Mama. I'm going to think, Brandy, could you tell the difference in the cuts? Yes. It's crazy, huh? If I wanted to hit that yesterday, it would have been that would have been perfect. But all right, I'm going to get off here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hadley's asleep over here. You asleep, Had? Is that comfortable? Yeah. Huh? What's what's Hadley and Mom doing over there in a random chair in the woods? Hope. Hope. Sorry, what'd I say? Uh, Sorry. Tired. What's up, Hayden? Oh. Hadley, you want to close it out? Smash that like button and please subscribe and turn that notification bell. Give me a huge thumbs up. <laughs>